on YouTube it's your boy Seth the Lion Surgeon and I'm about to change the blades on my toy built Mustang as you can see I got everything covered up it started raining while I was out cutting yesterday but luckily I had my tarp so I'm about to unload it and figure this thing out let's go all right so I got it lifted up now before y'all start I know y'all gonna say hey, it's kind of dangerous but uh I've said before in another video, I do not like working up under the lawnmowers because there's a possibility that they might fall. But with this lawnmower, I tried to take the deck off and it was extremely hard. So, uh, I mean, it's not extremely hard. It just takes a long time. I was working on it for about 20 minutes and I still couldn't get it off. So then I went over to my friend's house and he was like, why don't you just put it up on some cinder blocks so that's what i did and it worked out and you know with the braking system you know it's not really going anywhere it would be ideal if you had two cinder blocks that would be very ideal but the last time i changed it it worked like this as well so not recommended but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do all right so let me get my tools all right, so I got my C-clamp. I got my um, 15, 16th wrench. Whatever size you need, um, make sure you check it. Uh, and I got my rubber mallet. And I got my uh, gator blades. Um, now, NY Raptor, he said that the gator blades didn't work too well on his, um, uh, his Toro in the summer months so I might this is my first time putting gator blades on this Mustang so I might have to learn the hard way but I already bought them so they're going on here As y'all saw, I got a little nervous because this is the original pattern. This is what the um, the um, lug pattern looks like. And uh, I did research online and found out that this pattern would fit it. And so when I tried to put it on, 
it wasn't going but I just had to adjust it the right way but yeah so if you have a Troy Book Mustang um, this pattern right here that'll fit it I've, I'm not sure I think it's called an H pattern I'm not sure what it's called but yeah uh, that's the six star six star pattern I think that might be the H pattern I'm not sure All right, so now that we got the blades on, while you're also doing maintenance on your uh, Mustang, I'm not sure how other people's um, lawnmowers are made, but I know with the Mustang, a Troy built Mustang, um, they have this belt guard, and grass seems to get caught up in there, and if you leave that grass in there, it'll wear on your belt, and you end up having to change your belt more often, so good thing while you're changing, at least while you change your blades, you probably should do it more often, like maybe like, you know, every couple of weeks, but um, yeah, take this guard off. We're only gonna take a couple of screws, one, two, three screws. You got it off, and uh, you can uh, clean that grass out. And exhibit A. Yeah. See, I don't know. I mean, it's really nothing I don't think Troy Bill could do to prevent this, but yeah. Pretty sure it's not good for you mower to leave this stuff up under there. Now that I got this bad boy back together, I think it's time to give these blades a test spin. Pun intended. Ah.
music to my ears. All right. Um, if y'all have any questions, leave it in the comment area. Um, make sure y'all comment, subscribe, and um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.